Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So now that we're in the Desert Colossus, let's take a look around a few places here, since we can. There's not a ton that we can do, but there are a few things that we can take a look at. Starting off over here, just ignoring all the levers because I don't want to deal with them right now. There's a little spot where Navi's going to apparently. And I believe, if we play a song here, which I believe is a Song of Storms. Well, for one thing, this oasis fills up with the water. There's a bunch of fairies that pop out so there. Ah, uh, but also... I don't know if Navi being here means there's something else. It's probably just the fairies here anyway, so... But you can get fairies there if you need to. Ah, uh, but now, I want to head over this way. To those two palm trees. There's a lot of enemies here that are just trying to hurt you. <laughs> Without too much reason. I mean, they're not that difficult to deal with, but still. Ah, uh, but anyway. There's also a crack in the wall here. That one didn't even hit me when it went through me. That's interesting. So let's blow up that crack there. And we can go into this hole here. This little cave. Which is, of course, a great fairy fountain. So, let's get out our ocarina and play Zelda's Lullaby. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. You got Nairu's love. Cast this to create a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you can use uh, with C. <laughs> Nairu's love is in effect for only a limited time, so use it carefully. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Well, there we go. We have a new spell to use now. That's all the three of these spells over here, which is pretty cool. Nairo's Love isn't that helpful, I think. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. It's not that helpful, but it can be in very specific scenarios, probably. But basically, if we cast it... We have a magical shield around us, which means that we can still get knocked around, but we won't take any damage. This will stay in effect for a fair amount of time. Uh, but we can't dispel it, so it's just going to be doing its own thing, basically. But anyway, there's also a gold sculpture up here that we can get. There's probably a much better way to do this, though, so I might leave that for now since the levers are trying to bug me. There's also a couple of rock rings around here that I don't think do anything since there are two of them. But anyway. This barrier will go away at some point. On its own. But let's head in here. Into the spirit temple. A couple of armos here. I don't remember if they come to life or not. They do come to life. Can I kill you with my sword? I can. Cool. It's a good thing I can't take any damage right now. Because I can just ignore everything even more than I normally would. Anyway, the barrier is about to go down. Now, this block here, we can't 
push out of the way. So we're going to have to figure out something with that. Uh, but other than that, there's also this tunnel down here. That we can't go through. And that's basically it. There's a couple of pots in here, I believe, that will try to throw themselves at you, possibly. Uh, but what does this say? If you want to proceed to the past, uh, you should return here with the pure heart of a child. Okay. And if we check this... If you want to travel to the future, you should return here with the power of silver from the past. Okay. Well, that's everything we can do here right now, so let's head on out. Past, present, future. The Master Sword is the ship with, with which you can sail upstream and downstream through R Time's River. The port for that ship is the Temple of Time. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through Time's flow. Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead you, lead a child back to the desert. You have learned the Requiem of Spirit. So by going in and out of the, the Spirit Temple, we get the song to teleport to that pad over there. Ah, uh, but anyway now... We need to go back in time, but I'm going to check something else first, if I can actually remember what the song is. So, going back to the graveyard, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I thought I had already done this. Well, I didn't think this was actually a thing, possibly. Or maybe later on, or earlier or something. But anyway, I believe if we move this uh, grave out of the way, there's a little hole we can go into. One of the few. And in here is a redead. So let's take that out. Well, it's gone now. So that now it's, ugh. So now let's play the sun song, which you would play to freeze the redead. And we could have done this probably first time we came here and got the sun song, but I overlooked it apparently. I just thought I couldn't do it yet because there weren't any flowers in front of the grave. But no, there's just no flowers in front of the grave. So anyway, let's open this up. And get a piece of heart. Now we just need one more. And now let's head back to the Temple of Time and go back in time. Okay. Rock Room of Spirit. We can head back to the Desert Colossus now, as Child Link. I hope I have what I need. Because, I believe... Yes, I do have everything I need, good. Because we need a, a final magic bean, and some bug. Some bugs. Also, the levers look huge when you're Child Link, just because of the size difference between 
child link and adult link. But anyway, right over here, next to the entrance to the temple, is some soft soil. So let's plant that there. Just like that, and let's drop some bugs, which we will never need ever again. And we wouldn't even need them any earlier than this, or at this point anyway, if we were just getting 50 Sculptlers. But I'm trying to get all of them, so... Let's get rid of you. I don't even care if you hit me. There we go. You destroyed a gold Sculptler, we can get a token. Okay. I wonder who built the Spirit Temple, and for what purpose? Okay. Anyway, let's head on in, dodging the pots that just fly at me. Ah, uh, but anyway now, now that we're back in the past, what are you doing here? I haven't seen you around, kid. What do you want? Uh, uh to see the temple? You're just a kid. The temple is no place for kids. I haven't seen you around, kid. Uh, looking for the sages. A sage? I don't know anyone like that. <laughs> the correct answer is to say nothing, really. <laughs> Just think about that for a second. Every other time you say no any to anything in the game, it asks you the question again to say yes. Anyway, nothing really. You have nothing to do? What good timing. <laughs> can, you, uh, can you do me a favor, kid? Wait a second, I want to ask you first. You wouldn't happen to be one of the- one of Ganondorf's followers, would you? Uh, I hate Ganondorf. Aha. Uh -huh. You've got guts. I think I like you. First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm Naboru of the Gerudo. I'm a lone wolf thief. But don't get me wrong. Though we're both thieves, I'm completely different from Ganondorf. With his followers, he stole from women and children, and he even killed killed people. A kid like you may not know this, but the Gerudo race consists only of women. Only one man is born every hundred years. Even though our laws say that uh, lone male Gerudos must become king of the Gerudos, I'll never bow to such an evil man. By the way, what is your name, kid? Link? What kind of name is that? Well, anyway, I want to ask you a favor. Will you go through this uh, tiny hole and get a treasure that's inside? The treasure is the silver gauntlets. If you equip them, you can easily push and pull every, uh, push and pull very heavy things. No, 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 kid. Don't even think about taking this treasure for yourself. The silver gauntlets won't fit a little kid like you. If you try to take uh, to equip them, I want you to be a good boy and give them to me. Ganondorf and his minions are using the Spirit Temple as a hideout. Only the Silver Gauntlets will allow me to sneak deep into the temple. Once there, I'm going to steal all the treasure inside and mess up their plans. How about it? Will you do it? Yes, I will. Thanks, kid. You and I, let's give Ganondorf and his followers a big surprise. Shall we? If you can successfully get the Silver Gauntlets, I'll do something great for you. Okay. Anything else to say? If you can successfully... That's just what you said before, okay. So now, that we're Child Link, we can actually fit through this hole. Since it's too small for an Adult Link to crawl through. I don't think you ever crawl through anything as Adult Link, so... Makes sense. Although the design of this thing with the outline there kind of looks like it was supposed to have Adult Link go through, but anyway. You don't want to have your Deku Shield equipped, otherwise it will burn to these uh, fire keys. I just need to be careful of that spike trap. Oh, that's really just a thing? Or do I need to... Okay, I need to do that. Can I not... I don't think I can actually do enough 
I, I can't actually d damage this uh, Armos without bombs as Child Link. Anyway, there we go. Now we just need to get rid of a few more keys. Carefully. Just like that. And now that door opens. But I think this door over here also opens. It just shows the one... It just shows one of them open, though. Um... I think... I have options now. I could probably... No, I think I do have to go the other way first. So let's head on up this way. I really like the Spirit Temple. Also, hello... Uh, Starfos. We've only seen these as Adult Link, so... This one looks huge compared to us because we're tiny now. Come on. I think we can also use a few other things... ...against you. Oh, hang on. Goodbye. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I don't think he's still alive, so that works out quite well. Uh, now, I don't know what I can do to get rid of this thing. Oh. Just gonna shoot off the edge there. Okay, now, I believe we also need to use the boomerang, possibly. Or, uh, what's it called? Bomb chews to hit the switch. For some reason, the bomb chews can go into the pit and then come back out again. Like the darkness down there is a, a flat surface, basically. To the bomb chews. But anyway, let's open that, this chest here. Blue rupee. And let's keep going. This- oh, hello. This temple really has a, a very interesting feel about it that I like, for some reason. Anubis. It's vulnerable to fire. Well... We also can't attack, otherwise it will attack us. Oh my goodness, that's not good. It also mirrors our movements, so if we move somewhere, it will move in the opposite direction to us. Which is what this room's designed specifically for. Which means if we go all the way over here... And then, shoot that switch there. It will make that fire appear there, which takes out the Anubis. Which is basically the only way to take it out, except that if you have Din's fire, which you should, it's just a lot easier probably to do that, than do this puzzle the correct way. But anyway, this links back to the room we were in before. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Great. I... just what I needed. Also, hello. More keys that are on fire. More master. Take you out, please. Just like that. And let's grab all these silver rupees, if we can. Though I feel like I've made a mistake. Quite possibly. Because I might... No, I'm, I'm, I'm right. I just need to get the silver rupees that are on this side. Since there aren't any on the other side. I thought I made a mistake because the... I thought the, some of the silver rupees were on the other side, but they're, they're on this side, so it's all good. It's all good. Let's just get this over here. And we also need to be careful of the Skulltula because we can actually get hit by it on this side of the... Fence for some reason. Like that. I don't know why the game dropped me like that, but anyway. We can also, that means, take it out from this side. Which is interesting. Now, I'm sure that the keys are all heading towards the fire immediately to try and ignite themselves. Because that's just what they seem to do. But anyway, it's all of them. Taken out. So, let's also get this Sculptor token. Please. Thank you. And let's light up these torches here, which we can just do with Din's fire. 
We'll take your stick since there's a fire on the other side. And that makes a chest appear. Which I'm assuming is a small key. So now we can progress because we needed that before we went through the tunnel in the first room we went into. Over here. Okay. Please go in. Okay. Let's go through this locked door. We can hear some sculptors. I'm pretty sure they're just regular skull walters. Except for the one at the back there. Let's get that, please. Just gonna need to go up to get it. It's a good thing you can still equip items to the C buttons when you're on the wall. Because they all grey out, but that's just because you can't use them when you're climbing. It'd just be a bit strange if you couldn't. But anyway, let's grab that. And let's get rid of the rest of these. Squaltalers. And now if I'm not wrong... Am I wrong? Nope, not wrong. There's also... The... Lizalfos again. Since we're Child Link. Makes sense. Let's just take you out. Please. Oh, show me the light. Hello, Sun Switch thing. Please, just hit the Lizalfos. There we go. Okay, so the sun wants to be shown the light, and there's conveniently Navi going up to there to that crack in the wall. So let's get out Bomb Chews. One of the few times that we actually need Bomb Chews. Pretty much the only time. And that puts light onto the sun switch, which will open the door. We can also hit this switch up here, which I believe makes a few treasure chests appear in here. So let's go grab those. Blue rupee. And bomb juice. I guess that's a hint that you're supposed to use bomb juice there. If you didn't. Also, hello. There is a second one in this room, just is a random spawning spot. It's very weird, but anyway. Let's just take you out, please. Thank you, and I'm out here. Now, I'm also pretty sure that if I push this off the switch, uh, off the edge here, there's actually a switch down there that needs to be weighed down. So that works out very well for us. Uh... There's also a few other things we can do, possibly, but there's not a ton we can actually access at the moment. So let's use Din's fire to light these two torches here. Grab this. Which is... The dungeon map! So now we can see all the rooms that we can't get to now. Which, there's... Quite a fair bit in this dungeon. Look, just look at that. At least it's, uh... What's the word? I don't know. Symmetrical. I guess. I think that's the word I was looking for. Wow, nothing in those pots. Wow. It's a good thing we can also climb up this wall here. We can't get to the other side of the dungeon, so all we can actually do at the moment is just head on up this way. Since we unlocked this door. Oh, hello. Well, I couldn't do anything there if I want, even if I wanted to right now. So let's just go this way. This room is completely unnecessary. But it looks really cool. <laughs> um, now. There's a lot of B 
the most I'm probably going to want to take out. So that they're not going to annoy me. Oh, spike trap. I don't know how I dodged that. How? Now, there's also a couple of torches which I think I need to light. Okay, this is one there. One there. I feel like there's another one somewhere. Over there. Okay, cool. Uh, but I'm also going to just get the sun switch, which is on top of this block over here, into the light if I can do that. Also, this dungeon is kind of supposed to be before the Shadow Temple, but I've always thought of it, it make, as making more sense to be after the Shadow Temple. But anyway, let's get this block into the light, please. Almost. There we go. That opens the way forward, but I want to get the treasure in here, because I'm crazy like that. Let's grab that. I think there's actually a few things for treasure in here. Actually, no, probably not. I think there's only one treasure, and I, I, the, the, the silver rupees are just to light the first torch, which seems a little bit strange. Also, I just realized that that rupee gave me a little bit of rupee. I didn't think they actually were, were worth anything, but I guess they're just not worth a ton. They're just worth a little bit. They're like five, they're, they're basically blue, blue rupees. Interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, that does light the first torch. Which I guess isn't that helpful to us since we have Din's fire. But I guess if you had, um, if you didn't have sticks, or you did have sticks and, I don't know. That didn't even reach any of them, I don't think. I was really hoping there's probably a spot in the room that you can get all three torches at once. I just don't know where that would be. Although that one there is a little bit far away from the other two, so I guess maybe not. It probably would just be a lot easier to use sticks. Nah. Nah. Let's grab this. Small key. Interesting. That's very interesting. That means that that's not optional to do all that extra stuff. Very interesting. So it's a good thing I didn't waste... It's a good thing I didn't go up this way first. Okay. <laughs> it's a good... It's it's sometimes good to just take your time and get all the treasure. But anyway, let's also get this Sculptor here. Since this one's probably very easy to miss. Okay, boomerang. Let's grab that. Just like that. Let's go through this locked door. And now, for this thing, if we hit it at all, it comes, it wakes up, and this is an iron knuckle. Watch out for its axe. It hurts a lot. Strike it when it drops its guard. Also, the ways you want to pro fighter is with um, either dropping a lot of bomb juice into it or jumping attack it with sticks, basically. But you need to be very careful of its attacks because it's very strong. Might actually be a good idea to use Naru's love, possibly. It also has a swing slice attack thing. So you need to be careful for that. Oh my goodness, I'm going to actually die if I'm not careful here. Luckily, if it gets close to one of these pillars and attacks it, it will drop some hearts for you. But even then... Basically, you want to wait for it to attack and then attack back. And once you hit it enough times, it will drop some of its armor and get faster as well. So you can't dodge it. 
as much. But there we go. I also really like the Iron Knuckles as an enemy. It's pretty cool. Also, I believe they can also destroy their seat throne things. But anyway, let's head on out this way. Hey, what's up, Link? Surprised to see me? A long time in this world is almost nothing to you, is it? How mysterious. Even I thought that the tales of a boy who could travel back and forth through time was merely a legend. Link, you have fully mastered, fully matured as an adult. From now on, the future of all of the, oh, all of the people of Hyr people in Hyrule, is on your shoulders. Maybe it's not in uh, my time anymore. Uh, here is my last advice. Two witches inhabit this temple. In order to destroy them, turn their own magic power against them. Hoo hoot. Do you want to hear what I said again? Sure, why not? Okay, good. That's the- just got all that. Just let me say no more. I will continue to watch you. Hoo 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 hoot. Where you there? You flew into the wall. I'm sure it's fine. I don't think he was supposed to talk to me immediately. Maybe he was. I don't know. I don't remember him flying into the wall though. Anyway, let's get the treasure, which is of course the silver gauntlets. If you wore them, you would feel power in your arms. The power to lift big things with A. But these gauntlets won't fit a kid. Plus, you promised to give them to Nabori. You should keep your word. Hey, where are you taking me? Yeah, let me go. You, you fiends, Ganondorf's minions. Link, get out of here, now. These witches, they're using black magic on me. Well, there we go. We can also see that there's a piece of heart right there that we need to get. So we'll have to keep that in mind. But for now, it's time to go back to the future. And now that we're an adult, we're actually wearing the silver gauntlets straight away, just on our arms. And if we go to our equipment screen, now instead of as, well, as an adult, instead of having the Goron's bracelet grayed out, we actually have the silver gauntlets on that position. And now back to the Desert Colossus. I love the way that the silver gauntlets look. It's just so cool. So, there's just a few more things that I want to point out real quick. And starting off, this blue rock now, I can actually pick that up and throw that, so that room with all the boulders in Goron City is just completely worthless now. Some Deku Scrubs if you want to buy some stuff, I don't know what they sell. But, you know, I probably wouldn't need to buy anything from them anyway. Ah, uh, but the other thing we can do right now is use the bean plant that we planted. We can go for a journey. 
There's a few things that we can get by doing this. The first one is over here on this platform, but we need it to be nighttime, which just missed, so. Let's make it nighttime again. Because up here we don't have to worry about the levers, which makes it a lot easier to get this gold sculptor. There we go. And now back to the bean, back to the bean plant again. Let's a go. Let's a roll. Also, having the fairies at the oasis there is actually quite helpful for us if we need to heal at this point. Or we'll restock uh, empty bottles. But anyway, the second thing we can get from the bean plant is, of course, once we get into the right position, the piece of heart up here. Which is also good for healing, so... There we go. We now have 19 heart containers. So there we go. Now we are ready to go back into the spirit temple. But that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.